Hello everyone. We are super thrilled and excited to announce the public preview of the feature on demand backup and export on Azure database for MySQL flexible server. The feature gives an ability to export at moment physical backup of the server to Azure block storage account. Once exported, these backups can be used for data recovery, migration and redundancy. Now let's quickly understand some of the use cases of this feature. First and foremost, it's data recovery, redundancy, and availability. So in case of data corruption, accidental deletion, or hardware failure, you now have an exported copy of your data that can be restored to its previous state. The second use case is auditing and compliance. Now these exported backups provide snapshot of data and configurations at a specific point in time, which means you can leverage the exported backups to meet the auditing and compliance requirement of the organization. Last but not the least, and the most important one, you can now avoid vendor lock-in by using these exported backups to spin up an on-prem MySQL server or use it to migrate to any other platform. Now with that, let's quickly look at the demo of the feature. So this is the overview page in the Azure portal. From here, you have to go to settings and navigate to backup and restore. In the backup and restore blade, you have to click on export now to access the feature. Once you click on export now, you will see a page where you have to provide your exported backup name. From here, you can select the storage account where you want to export your backup. Once storage account has been selected, Make a selection for the storage account container and then click on export. Now the notification shows that server backup has been completed. Now this is the storage account which I have used to export the backup. Navigate to data storage, click on containers. This is the container where the backup was exported and you will see the exported backup right here. Now here is the Azure CLI command to leverage the feature on demand backup and export along with the standard parameters that is resource group and the server name. You also have to input the storage account container SAS URI. The message reflects that the backup has been exported. The same can be validated by going to the Azure storage account as we had showcased earlier. The exported on-demand backup can be restored to an on-prem MySQL. Now let's look at the restore experience. As a prerequisite to the restore experience, it's important that you install the MySQL community version from MySQL. The downloaded version must be same or compatible with the version of the exported backups. Then you have to connect to the Azure storage account using Azure Storage Explorer and ensure you download the backup file to your local machine. Now let's open the command prompt and navigate to the bin directory of the downloaded MySQL community version folder. Now specify the data directory using data dir uh, by running the command in the command prompt as shown. Now you can simply use any database client to connect to the database. For the purpose of this demo, we are using Azure Data Studio to connect to the database. Enter the connection details. Once connected, you can run any basic query to verify the data sanity. And this is how you can leverage your exported backups to spin an on-prem MySQL server. And now that brings us to the end of the demo. To learn more, please refer to the links for announcement block and Microsoft Learn documentation given on the screen. For queries and feedback, reach out to us on the email given on the screen. And stay tuned for more updates and announcement by following us on the social media. Thank you for listening in. Please do try out the feature and let us know if you'd have any feedback for improvements. Thank you.